Celebrations around pride have a deeply personal meaning to each individual. For some, pride is political. For others, it's a time of freedom. Others still, a time of uncertainty. Pride means a million things to a million people. But to me, it means resilience. Hello everybody, my name is Steph Sagnati. I am a YouTuber here and I talk about trans issues as my primary thing because I myself am transgender. A word that represents pride to me is resilience or resolve. Something that says you've made it or you can make it or you are strong, you're, you, you have a, a good a good set of armor on you, something like that. Because I really do feel, especially historically, but even now today, you do need to be resilient and strong if you are an LGBTQ person, if you're a queer person. It can be very hard out here. It can be really tough for queer people in the world still, especially trans people. And I think we should all be very proud of the resilience that both us and the people who came before us have shown. I chose that word because I have had to be very resilient myself growing up in a very small, very conservative, very small-minded town. And there has been progress made there, but when I was there, it was hell on earth for me. My property, my parents' vehicles were vandalized, my locker was wrecked, you know, I had things stolen, I was harassed. Thank God I was never assaulted physically, but I had to limit where I went to avoid that. And it shouldn't have to be that way for anybody, especially young people who need to be able to experience as many things and go as many places as they can to get an understanding of the world. And I had to isolate myself and to defend against everything from a very young age. And that's why I chose resilience as a word that sums up pride to me. If I had to tell you a story about the word resilience that pertains to my life, I would tell you about my high school experience in a nutshell, really. Like I said, I had to isolate myself so much from the main social group of people, from the main social happenings of my town, because I was not safe there. I was not safe. I was once harassed while standing in my garage, taking the garbage out, and some kids on the street literally yelled slurs at me. I was in my house. I felt so scared, and, and, and I was harassed often, and I was belittled often, and you know, it, it never got to a point of physical assault, and it never got to a point where I couldn't defend myself, but the emotional armor that I had to build up, I'm still trying to figure out how to peel it off, because I'm in a place now where I do feel safe, and it's really hard for me to let that guard down. But I'm grateful for that guard because it's the resilience that allowed me to get here. I celebrate pride by remembering the origins of it, how it was a rebellion. You know, I remember the trans people that started everything in Stonewall, that rebelled against the police who were, you know, <laughs> brutalizing us. And I celebrate pride by acknowledging the progress we have made, but also acknowledging that there's so much work left to be done. And I like to remind people that you know, while Pride as a month is celebratory, its origins started in rebellion and activism, and we still have to keep that up if we're going to keep making progress, because there is so much progress that still has to be made. We cannot rest on our laurels. So I guess I celebrate Pride by continuing the fight, and by listening to the people that came before, and hearing what they went through, and hearing how they fought, and trying my best to keep on track. My hope and wish for everyone out there who may or may not be celebrating Pride, just everybody really, is that they can exist as authentically as possible, that they can be themselves every single day. And that applies to everybody, not just transgender people. You know, I hope that my mom and dad can be themselves every day, that they never feel like they have to hide some part of themselves to be accepted or to get a promotion or to make that friend. Because who needs a friendship if it's not based on truth? I really hope that everybody one day can just be themselves without thinking about it, and nobody feels this stigma, you know, towards any part of themselves. We should be able to celebrate ourselves, be aware of our differences, and be okay with that. And I really hope that one day we can get there. So everybody, happy Pride. Do your best to keep up the work of the people who came before us. Remember that Pride is a rebellion, and you should be yourself every day of the year, not just during Pride Month. I love you, and we've got this.